guys welcome back okay so today i'm doing a tag video i already did a video filming this look and i said you know what i got makeup on i look decent today so let's do a tag video okay now this tag was created by ali glines and samantha march and it's been going around the tube and all the youtubers is doing it and palette lovers is doing it and i said you know what I'm a YouTuber and I love me some palettes, okay? So let's go ahead and do this tag. So this is the palette tag. It's just a series of questions about some of the palettes that are in your collection, kind of like an inventory situation. And I'm just gonna run through, answer these questions and hopefully not ramble too much. So let's jump right in with the first question in this tag. First question is, show your newest palette, okay? That's easy because I just got a palette in the mail. My husband brought it to me about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so <laughs> this would have to be my newest palette. This is, who, hold on y'all. Okay. This is the Glam Doll Cosmetics Vibes palette. So this is what this palette looked like, <laughs> look like, looks like. If you guys are familiar with me and my channel, you know that I like to try out and support a lot of indie brands, smaller makeup companies, and now I'm definitely looking for more black owned makeup brands. And so this is a black owned makeup brand, Glam Doll Cosmetics. This is her palette, the Vibes palette. Let me show it to you. <laughs> of course, you guys know why I grabbed this palette very colorful beautiful palette i can't attest to the quality of course because i just got it today but this is what it looks like and i think it's very very pretty and i cannot wait to try it out okay so question number two show your oldest palette <laughs> now the oldest palette that i have in my collection i believe is my Too faced uh sweet peach palette very old palette I really didn't get that much use out of it as you can see which I don't get that much use out of all my palettes to be honest because I use a lot of palettes but this is my oldest palette when I first started my YouTube <laughs> adventure making videos about three years ago um, I was hearing a lot about this palette. This palette was, you know, like just the sweet peach, sweet peach, sweet peach. And I was like, ooh, what's a sweet peach, okay? Mind you, I did not really get into makeup heavy until I started doing my YouTube channel. I was, you know, basically learning as I was filming from other YouTubers and things like that. And so when I, look, I had only bought like drugstore makeup you know the little tiny eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that so when i think i was walking through macy's or something with my daughter one day and i saw this palette and i was like oh my goodness that palette is gorgeous and it smells like peaches it still smells like peaches and she was like yeah that's really nice mom you should get it honey when i saw the price for this palette i put that thing right back on down <laughs> i was like who is paying that much for makeup? Like, nope, not your girl. So obviously I've come a long way <laughs> since discovering this Sweet Peach palette, but this is definitely my oldest palette in my collection to date because I do declutter now. Okay, so the next question is, show your most expensive palette. Now, my most expensive palette is one that I did not purchase. It was gifted to me actually from a fellow YouTuber, but my most expensive palette, of course, is a Natasha Denona palette. And this one is, what is it? I think it's the blue purple palette, which looks like this. Very, very pretty, gorgeous palette. And this palette retails for like over $200. So this is absolutely, most definitely my most expensive eyeshadow palette in my collection. Okay, so the next question is, show your most affordable palette. Now, that was kind of tricky because, of course, you guys know my first thought, my first instinct is, okay, the e.l.f. bite size palettes because these palettes are amazing, really, really nice for $3, okay? Four shadows for $3, excellent buy, great quality. 
But then I started thinking about the Profusion palettes. Now, these palettes here, you get 10 shadows for five bucks, $4.99 or $5. So it's kind of like, well, it's 50 cents a shadow, you know, which is very affordable. And the quality is decent as well. So I would say getting four shadows for three dollars you know it's a little bit more than getting 10 shadows for five dollars so i'm gonna go with the profusion on this one as far as the most affordable because you get more product for your buck okay so i have quite a few of these 10 pan profusion palettes so i just picked this one because it's pretty this is the spectrum <laughs> Okay, so next it says, show your everyday palette. <laughs> I don't have an everyday palette, okay? <laughs> that, that there is something I do not have. You know, I honestly wish I did, but I don't. But what I will say is if I did have to choose an everyday palette, like if I was told, hey, you know, you can only have one palette to use every day for the rest of your life, I'm going to pick this one. <laughs> The Be Perfect Carnival palette, you guys, if you watch my channel, you know I love this palette, okay? Love it, love it, love it. If I didn't love palettes in general so much and I was the type of person to use one palette, it would probably be this. My channel would probably be probably be called the Be Perfect XL palette because <laughs> I love this palette. It's just, it's just such a wide range of colors and shadows to use. I love the fact that they have highlighters in here. I love the fact that they have neutrals, smokies, blues, greens, purples, reds, everything that you want in a palette is right here and the quality is amazing. So if I had to pick an everyday palette, it would be this one, okay? So the next question is, show your most colorful palette. <laughs> uh. 90% of my palette collection is colorful. So I don't even know if this is possible for me to show my most colorful palette. Um, it would definitely have to be just a straight up rainbow palette. Please hold. Yeah, you guys, I have so many colorful palettes that I wouldn't even know which one to choose. Um, this one is pretty colorful though. This is the Glam Light Cake Palette. And although I haven't used this palette yet, it's pretty colorful. I mean, it it is. I think it is very, very colorful. But like I said, I have so many rainbow colorful palettes. Like this one is the Glam Light Paint Palette. And it's like, <laughs> it's just as colorful as the cake palette. So... You know, how does a girl choose? How does a girl choose? I don't know. And I have a whole plethora of other rainbow palettes that I could pull out and show. So that one is tough because 90% of my collection is color. <laughs> okay, show your smallest palette. Once again, I have to go back to the e.l.f. Now, I know some people were saying that the profusion or any other palette that has more than four shadows should be considered a palette because this is a quad. So I'm gonna go with Elf though, because <laughs> I do consider these palettes, even though it's four shadows, I do consider these my little bite-sized palettes and this is definitely my smallest palette. Okay, what is my biggest palette? Um, I have some pretty large palettes, you guys. Now, this one was a little tricky as well <laughs> because this one, while it is a palette, it's kind of like a combination palette type thing, you know? It's not solely a palette. It's a palette that includes highlighters, but it's huge, okay? This here is the Love Tapes palette from P. Louise, and honestly, this is my largest palette. This palette was gifted to me <laughs> from my girl, Lily. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. And it is like the perfect love Valentine's Day, just kind of like beautiful red pinky palette. But as you can see, there are two highlighters in here as well. So this is <laughs> my largest palette um, for sure. 
for sure. Even though it does include highlighters, it's definitely my largest palette. You can see here, it looks like a boom box, okay? It's huge. Okay, next it says the palette with the best memory. Um, you know, I would have to say it is this Too Faced Natural Love palette. And <laughs> I know some of you guys are like, okay, okay, why do you even have that palette, okay? My daughter bought me this palette. She bought me this palette for Mother's Day when I first started my channel. Like, I had only had my channel for maybe a month and it was Mother's Day and she sent this to me and <laughs> clearly she wasn't aware of the direction that my channel was going to go at the time <laughs> because looking at this palette is like, what am I gonna do with this? Okay, what am I gonna do with this? So yeah, I definitely only use this palette one time, but I don't think I, I will ever get rid of it because of the special memory that it, it holds for me. Being from my daughter and being given to me on Mother's Day, you know, is something to use on my channel. It was just really, really sweet. So, although, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would not use this on my channel today, it definitely holds special memory for me. So, yeah, Too Faced Natural Love. Show a palette that's worth the hype. You know what? with all the five million bazillion palettes that I have in my collection, the first palette that came to mind was the Jackie Ina ABH palette, okay? Now, at the time that this palette came out, there was like a little hubbub going on, you know, a little bit of drama, a little bit whatnot. So at the time, I was like, uh, I don't know if I wanna grab that, I don't know if I wanna pick it up, there's a little drama going on. But I decided, you know what, I wanna go ahead and support my fellow sister, YouTuber, all of that good stuff so i picked it up not really thinking that much about it but this palette is nice okay abh quality but you want to talk about the shades having the color the depth just the blendability the shimmers all of that stuff all wrapped up in an abh palette very very nice um, i mean i know you guys have seen this a billion times but whenever I use this palette, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm like, that's a nice palette, okay? So, and I don't think I've ever heard anybody give this a bad review. I haven't. <laughs> so, I think it is worth the hype because, you know, there's hype. People, most people that get it that I've seen love it and I love it too. I think it's worth the hype. A palette that's not worth the hype. <laughs> <laughs> okay a palette that i don't think is worth the hype is the morphe james charles palette i i don't it's a colorful palette you know it's just like i said i have a million rainbow palettes this is another one that i have it's huge you know what is this palette no this palette it's just slightly smaller than my p louise palette but yeah um it's a it's a colorful palette you know to me it's it's morphe quality is decent it's not anything wrong with it but just all the hype and everything surrounding how bomb this palette is and how amazing it is it's just okay to me it's okay <laughs> so yeah I <laughs> okay I, mm, it's just okay my favorite palette from a favorite brand now when it said favorite palette initially you know i love my carnival be perfect palette but my initial thought was oh, ace beauty oceanic ace beauty oceanic i love that palette you know it's, it's, this palette is a bomb okay it's, it's, it's bomb it's pretty it's gorgeous it's bomb okay if you don't know you better ask somebody but <laughs> You know, I had to change my selection because although I love this palette, okay, it's gorgeous and beautiful and one of my favorites, it is not from a favorite brand of mine. Ace Beauty, they, they cool and all, but they're not my favorite brand. One of my all-time favorite brands is Juvia's Place, so I had to pick my favorite palette from Juvia's Place since they are a favorite brand and the Tribe, <laughs> no question, okay. The Tribe palette by Juvia's, the color story, 
gorgeous. I mean, I guess if you like green, you know, and orange, <laughs> which I do. But it, when this palette came out, oh, just this color story. And then the quality of this palette, the shimmers, the mattes, it's just... It was just something that just blew a lot of people away, including myself. And honey, this is definitely my favorite Juvia's Place palette. Ugh, it's gorgeous. Now, the next question is, show your most used palette, which is hilarious to me because I pretty much use a different palette every day. But I do have a go-to palette that... If I don't really feel like thinking about what palette I want to use and I want to do a quick eye look, whether I want to do something simple and smoky or something, you know, with a pop of color on my lid, you know, I'm going to church, I'm going to a family function, or I'm just going out with my hubby or something. When I used to leave the house, you remember them days <laughs> when I used to leave the house? Um, a palette that I've used the most, I would say, is my Profusion Sultry. I don't know what it is about this palette, but it's just such an easy go-to palette. I mean, every day it has these little pops of color in here. You can see the blue, the green, and the purple. It's not a rainbow palette, but if you do want to get adventurous with a little blue, a little green, a little purple, you got it right there. And you can do a nice, simple, everyday look as well as you can smoke it out. So yeah, this is a palette that I've grabbed several times just because it's like okay i need to put on some makeup <laughs> you know when you have hundreds of palettes like i do sometimes you don't want to think about it so this is my most used palette this profusion sultry now i was watching emily noel do the palette tag and she had like a couple of extra questions in her box and so i was like am i able to answer those questions kind of but not really <laughs> okay but her extra questions were show your best dupe palette and you know what I got rid of a lot of palettes I did I got rid of a lot of palettes all of my shop hush palettes you know they were dupe central um but I got rid of a lot of dupe palettes whether I depotted them or decluttered them gave them away I don't even have I might have like three or four dupe palettes that I got like from Shop Hush and stuff like that but you know what I would say I do have um eh, I don't know it's kind of tough to say because the Shop Hush palettes that they came out with those cult palettes now while I don't even know if it's possible to dupe Pat McGrath probably not you know I think she's overrated I mean <laughs> sorry but quality is bomb i have several of her palettes so you know i got them i know um but her palettes are bomb formula is bomb and everything but when bad habit came out with those cult palettes i really liked them let me show you one now i have all five of the dupe palettes that came out at the time that bad habit bad habit was still you know in business and everything so I did pick up all five of the ones that they came out with and I just I don't think I'll ever get rid of these <laughs> because I just love them so much and I couldn't believe that anybody had the balls to try and do Pat McGrath but I also love these palettes when I use them this one is the cult mythos and when I use these palettes, honey, I love them. So this is the one that has like the green in there. And it's just, oh. They are so pretty. So it's like, even though they don't dupe the Pat McGraths, honey, it's like they have a very high quality of their own. I mean gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and this one is the cult mystere which looks like this so it has more of the colorful shimmers in here as well and i just want to show you guys why it is <laughs> that i really love these palettes whether they're dupes or not they're very nice palettes so those are some of the shadows from the cult mystere just absolutely gorgeous I love them. <laughs> I love putting those on my lids. They are so, so pretty. So while they might not be actual dupes for the Pat McGrath palettes, 
these are some bomb dupe palettes, okay? So the last bonus question that Emily Noel has in her box is, what palette or palettes did you rediscover through this tag? And honestly, I, I didn't rediscover any palettes <laughs> through this tag. And that's only because I'm very, very familiar with my collection. Even though I do have a very large collection, I'm very familiar with it. I know where everything is. I know why I haven't used it and I know what I want to use. <laughs> so... I really didn't rediscover any palettes because I'm very familiar with my collection. So that's it, you guys, for this palette tag. Those are all my answers, okay? So let me know down in the comments, you know, what you guys think about the palettes that I chose and that I have in my collection. And, you know, let me know about what you have in your collection. Like, what is your oldest palette? What is your largest palette? I'm curious, because I know a lot of viewers don't have YouTube channels. But I am still curious to know what you have in your collection. I'm nosy too, okay? So let your girl know. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!